3D printing can get really messy. To make sure that your printer is really durable and your tools are as well, we're going to show you today a few tips and tricks on how to make sure that every part of it is cleaned properly. Um, you only need a few things. You need an air blower, you need a rubber spatula, you need some tissues, alcohol wipes, alcohol to spray, and a trash bag. So that's it. Let's go. Your first step is always going to be removing the build platform. Soul is actually designed in a way that you always have to remove that first because otherwise you can't lift the vat out of the printer. We've done it that way because we want to avoid you spilling any resin in the, on the print screen or around the printer. So we're going to lift this up, take out the vat. If you do spill any resin onto your print screen, make sure to clean that immediately because if any resin is cured on your print screen, you're going to have to replace the entire print screen. So for that, I'm just going to take an alcohol wipe. I'm going to wipe around the aluminum edges gently to remove any resin here. And then I can wipe across the entire print screen. Last step is drying the print screen. Make sure to take some wipes and just go over it again gently. And there you go. You've just avoided replacing your print screen. So your first step is going to be cleaning your build platform here. To do that, you're going to take some alcohol and you're going to spray it generously all around here. Then you're going to grab a wipe and gently go over the aluminum part of your build platform. Then I also need to make sure that all the surrounding area here is nicely cleaned. Okay. In my next step, I'm going to use an air blower to dry the build platform. Now, maybe you can still see some little shiny bits here. This is residue resin. So make sure to just grab another alcohol wipe Go over it again. And, et voila, your build platform is nice and shiny again. Okay, now it's time to clean the vat. So please make sure that you don't touch the backside of your vat because that's actually a part you don't need to clean. So we're going to save you some time. Don't touch the back of the vat, otherwise you will need to clean it. So our first step is going to be taking alcohol and spraying it generously inside the vat. Then I take a rubber spatula and mix the whole thing together. Okay. In my next step, I'm going to take an alcohol wipe, place this on top of the vat, and push it into the corners of my vat here. Again, I can also do this with my fingers here, just double checking. And throwing the wipe away. You might need to do this a few times to make sure that all the resin is really gone out of every little corner here. All right. Now that the inside is nice and clean, we're also going to go around here. We're just going to make sure that we don't touch the back of the vat. That is looking good. Okay, wonderful. So now I'm going to dry it, the vat with a tissue.
Now again, if you see some shiny parts, that means there's some leftover resin. So again, we're going to take an alcohol wipe and just go over those little parts again where you see some residue resin here. Okay. Then again, dry tissue. And one more quick round with the air blower. And you're finished. You have a perfectly clean back. Last but not least, don't forget to clean your tools. You will have a lot of resin residue on those and just make sure for their own durability to clean those properly as well. You can either spray some alcohol here or you just go ahead and grab some alcohol wipes and scrub them thoroughly. Start with my spatula here. As you can see, no more resin, so I'm good to go. And now I'm just going to make sure that my workspace actually is clean and I don't have any resin here. Again, I'm going to use alcohol and some wipes. <laughs> 